Hello and welcome to another episode of 10 Facts You Didn't Know. Today we are going to explore 10 facts you didn't know about Bonfire Night, the annual celebration of fireworks and fire that takes place every November 5th in the UK. Let's get started. Fact number 1, Bonfire Night commemorates the failure of the gunpowder plot, a conspiracy to blow up the Houses of Parliament and kill King James I in 1605. The plot was led by Robert Catesby, a Catholic who wanted to overthrow the Protestant king and restore a Catholic monarch to the throne. He recruited 12 other men, including Guy Fawkes, an explosives expert who was in charge of lighting the fuse. Fact number 2, the plotters rented a cellar under the House of Lords and smuggled 36 barrels of gunpowder into it. They planned to detonate the explosives on November 5th, when the king and his ministers would attend the opening of Parliament. However, their scheme was foiled by an anonymous letter that warned a Catholic lord to stay away from the parliament that day. The letter reached the king, who ordered a search of the building. Fox was caught red-handed in the cellar with the gunpowder and arrested. Fact number 3, Fox was tortured and interrogated at the Tower of London, where he revealed the names of his co-conspirators. Most of them were either killed or captured in a shootout with the authorities. Fox and the surviving plotters were sentenced to be hanged, drawn, and quartered, a gruesome form of execution that involved hanging, disemboweling and cutting into four pieces. Fox managed to avoid this fate by jumping off the scaffold and breaking his neck before he could be hanged. Fact number 4, in 1606, Parliament passed an act that made November 5th a national day of thanksgiving for the deliverance of the king and the country from the gunpowder plot. People were encouraged to celebrate by lighting bonfires and ringing bells. The act also required every church in England to hold a special service on that day, which included reading Psalm 124, a song of praise for God's protection from enemies. Fact number 5, the tradition of burning effigies of Guy Fawkes on bonfires began in the 17th century, when people would make dummies of him out of old clothes and straw and parade them around town before setting them on fire. The effigies were also known as guys or popies, as some people also burned images of the Pope, who was seen as the enemy of the Protestant faith. Children would collect money for making guys by asking for a penny for the guy from passersby. Fact number six, the custom of setting off fireworks on bonfire night dates back to at least the 18th century, when people would buy or make their own firecrackers, rockets and Catherine wheels. Fireworks were seen as a way of mimicking the explosion that never happened at Parliament. Some fireworks also had political messages or symbols, such as crowns, stars, and crosses. Fact number 7, Bonfire Night is also known as Fireworks Night or Guy Fawkes Night, but it has different names and meanings in different parts of the UK. In Northern Ireland, it is called Eleventh Night or Orange Night and it is celebrated on July 11th by Protestants who commemorate the victory of William III over James II at the Battle of the Boyne in 1690. In Scotland, it is called Samhain or Halloween Night, and it is linked to the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain, which marked the end of summer and the beginning of winter. Fact number 8, Bonfire Night is not only celebrated in the UK, but also in some former British colonies and territories. In New Zealand, it is called Guy Fawkes Day or Cracker Night, and it is celebrated on November 5th or the closest Saturday night. In South Africa, it is called Guy Fawkes Day or Diwali Night, and it is celebrated on November 5th or around October-November depending on the Hindu lunar calendar. In Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada, it is called Bonfire Night or Pope's Night, and it is celebrated on November 5th or the closest Saturday night. Fact number 9. Bonfire Night has inspired many cultural works, such as songs, poems, novels, and films. One of the most famous is the nursery rhyme, Remember, Remember, the 5th of November, which was first recorded in 1742 and has many variations. Another is the graphic novel and film, V for Vendetta, which features a masked vigilante who plots to blow up Parliament on November 5th as a symbol of resistance against a totalitarian regime. The film popularized the use of Guy Fawkes masks as a sign of protest and rebellion in various movements around the world. Fact number 10, Bonfire Night has also become a source of controversy and debate in recent years, as some people question its relevance and impact on society. Some critics argue that Bonfire Night glorifies violence, 
terrorism and religious intolerance, and that it should be replaced by a more inclusive and peaceful celebration. Others point out the environmental and safety issues caused by bonfires and fireworks, such as air pollution, noise pollution, fire hazards and injuries to people and animals. Some supporters defend Bonfire Night as a historical and cultural tradition that fosters community spirit and fun. And that's it for today's episode of Amazing Facts. I hope you learned something new and interesting about Bonfire Night. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing facts. Thank you for watching and see you next time.